It's morel mushroom season, and hunters are out in full force, hoping to find some of those elusive mushrooms. I've had no luck finding any this year, but local blogger Ruth Guerry, who lives in an old log cabin deep in the woods in Labadee, Missouri, was able to score some, and she sent us this video. Hey everybody, it's Ruth from Cabin in the Woods. It's a beautiful spring day in Missouri, and that means it's time to hunt for the morel. This funny looking little mushroom is the best tasting mushroom on the planet. It's a little hard to find, and some say elusive, but uh, we have been hunting in these woods for 33 years, and I can share a few tips that might make it a little easier. So, first of all, they grow from spores, no seeds no roots and the spores fly around and plant themselves and they need just the right elements to grow and the soil temperature needs to be about 50 degrees. They range in color anywhere from light almost like my hair to this dark grayish brown that's that's called a smoky and they also range in size. I mean I have found tiny little guys and actually almost six to eight inches high so and if we're lucky enough to find these today, I'll show you how to cook them. Success! We have plenty here for appetizers. So we have to clean these really good before we cook them. So the way to do that is cut them in half to get all the little pieces of dirt and sorry to say bugs, throw them in a big bowl of water and add two teaspoons of salt. And they have to soak for 30 minutes. So just continue on, cut the stem off, cut them in half, throw them in the bowl. Now we'll wait 30 minutes. Time to cook. I have oil and butter in a cast iron skillet, a hot cast iron skillet. And these mushrooms have been dredged in flour and a little bit of salt and pepper. It's very easy, very simple because you don't want to mask this amazing taste. So just put your mushrooms in in a single layer. And we're going to let those cook about three minutes on the first side and then we'll flip them. Mm, a hot plate of morels. These are so good. I wish you could be here, but if you get a chance, go look for these. Oh, I'm so jealous. I want to find some. Well, for more on Ruth, head over to her blog, cabininthewoodsblog.com, and also check out all of her recipes on Facebook. Thanks, Ruth.